we're here today to talk about the new Dream Machine router from Ubiquity. They just put out a video a couple days ago. Well, not a couple. It's been a little longer, but I wanted to make mine. I've watched a whole bunch of videos. Remember, like I always say, watch everyone's video. Everybody has different ideas about stuff. They find out different ways or experience things different ways than other people that make you think differently about what other people think about. So watch all the videos out there. So let's dive right into it. So we got the new Dream Machine router. They took away from uh, Dream Machine and called it the Dream Router now. So I still call it the Dream Machine, new the new Dream Machine, but it's called the Dream Router. I don't know why they couldn't just call it the Dream Machine 2 or SE, kind of like the Dream Machine Pro, which other YouTuber said, which was a great idea too. It does come with a front display for up and download speed. That's pretty cool. I know it's not needed, just like on the Dream Machine and all the new switches, but it is cool. It does look more premium, and it is cool to look at that as a glance, and I guess it's for the user to make them happy more inside, as in, ooh, that looks so much cooler. I like it, and stuff like that. I mean, it's kind of like the Alien Router that, um, Gosh, I'm not even gonna think of it's on my head. It's their uh, a city or you know their other company that they kind of run for more consumer grade stuff. But I mean, it's still cool. I still think it's cool. And then it comes with <gasps> da, 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 the new defined uh, Nano HD. But instead of the Nano HD, you know, it's Wi-Fi 5. Basically, we got the new Nano HD, which is the Wi-Fi 6 version. But I don't know what they'll call it yet, or if they're even gonna call it Nano or HD anymore. But yeah, it's basically because there's Nano HD in the last Dream Machine, uh, Dream Machine, but in the Dream Machine router now it's a Dream. Sorry, keeps calling it Dream Machine router. It's the Dream router. Is it the six version? So Wi-Fi six or Wi-Fi AX? So that's pretty cool. Also, I was just showing little Wi-Fi symbols going off. We have the PoE, yay! So it has two PoE at the bottom, two PoE ports. You know, it's a four-port switch. Two are non-PoE and two are PoE, but they're auto-sensing. You know, you don't have to worry about that. So you can plug stuff that isn't PoE into it, but it's cool. It's nice to have. The old one didn't have PoE, so that's pretty cool. WAN switch down at the bottom, so pretty dang cool. So uh, let's keep going on. Yep, showing them over again. Yep, going power, rock and rolling, so you can power your phone to get you started. So it has onboard storage that is rocking and rolling, so you can do your cameras and stuff like that. That's pretty dang cool. Most people think it's a gimmick, but here's the oh, expandable storage, micro SD card slot. That's pretty cool. First for Unify for their um, router devices, so that's pretty cool. Put a micro SD card slot in it. Other than the you know the, the cloud, you know cloud gens you could do those in the uh, cloud keys you could do those in micro sd cards but for a router for storage for camera space that's pretty cool and the cool thing is so here's the thing most people don't know they're going to show all the stuff again all the features and everything again but there's one thing that most people don't realize is you don't have to use all the ca high-end cameras and stuff most people aren't going to be using this for crazy cameras it's you know this is for i mean it can be small business so i'm not going to say you can't you can that's the cool it gives you the option but if most people want to get serious cameras this will get them started but it's gonna they'll buy a cloud key gen 2 with the hard drive interface in it so you can put you know 2.5 inch hard drives in it and store your your stuff up there or even get a bigger longer one but then you should have got the rack mount version of the udm anyways if you're gonna do that but i mean it doesn't matter. You can do both. It doesn't matter. But this is mostly, I would say, for getting people started. You know, they can they can run one or two cameras. But most people, if you go to most people's houses, um, they're probably just gonna have a doorbell, the camera doorbell. And guess what? Ubiquity has a doorbell. So this one thing will run a router in their doorbell. Their network will be safe, but they'll have their doorbell. They can run a VLAN with the doorbell on it. So that's cool because most people, if you think about it. There are more many people with just a router and a door and a uh, doorbell cam, ring doorbell, or you know the Nest or the I think the B or the Uni or something doorbells. There's so many different types of doorbells now. I've seen so many. I go to like 400 houses a month for what I usually do for my work. But yeah, definitely it's gonna probably be a doorbell, and that's the cool thing. Doorbells are big right now. They're popular, so why not get somebody where somebody started like oh. I got this, boom, I can buy a doorbell right now, and I can buy their doorbell. Perfect, and I'll just work right in it. Cool, I got it. And they're like, oh, you know what? I love this doorbell. You know, oh, I got this. Oh, they have other cameras. Other people have cameras. Let me get their camera. Oh, I can add more storage to this, too. A micro SD card slot. Oh, man, you know what? I just want 
more data. I want to see what happened last week. You know what? I need to get the, the hard drive so I can add the extra hard drive, an actual physical hard drive into it. I need to do that. Let's get it. So, I mean, it helps them out. They're helping users get adopted. I mean, it's a cool win-win situation for both people. So it's pretty cool for Unify and for the user that gets it. So it's pretty dang cool. The new thing is connect. Nobody knows what connect is. It could be site-to-site -site VPN, an easy way to connect to other. That would be uh, really dope. That'd be so cool. I mean, that would be really cool. The cool thing too, I was thinking, if you could do it like connect, you could connect to like other people, like other cameras at the Dream Machines quicker or something like that. Like, oh, this is another, uh, feed that I uh, like camera bar or whatever I watch I want to look at the cameras really quick I can't connect all my things there boom I'm into their camera interface boom into their camera interface boom into their cam so that'd be really cool but we don't know what that is it could be totally nothing I just said so cool beans cool beans you know that's how it works in this world all the usual interfaces that Unify has talk access protect but yeah that's the router guys it is it's pretty dang cool I'm excited for people that are just getting into Unify for it's not too expensive but hey, you know what it's better than most off-the-shelf routers that you can buy for what it can do so I tell you what it's rocking it's solid and it's a great buy so peace out hope you guys are having a wonderful day have a great day with your family and keep up watching if you like the videos and hit that subscribe button too and hit the like up kind it tells me if you guys like these videos and the subscribe button i get so happy every time i see a subscribe even one subscribe i'm like oh yeah let's keep doing it let's keep doing it every day so rock out and have a wonderful day guys peace out and rock on